Hi everyone, this is Charity from Scrap Fair. I'm using my absolute favorite stamp set today by Paper Smooches. This is called Spectrum. It came out last year. And um, if you watch my Instagram, you've kind of seen my original card fail. But here's just where I was playing with my Spectrum stamps and kind of getting an idea what to do with the card. I took the cloud and I stamped it. This is just some Nina white card stock. I stamped it over and over and over again. And I'm not home today, so I have limited craft supplies with me. Um, but I'm going to make a background using my little clouds here and some Prismacolor pencils. I'm not going to be using Gamasol with them. I think it looks really cute just like this. I've been playing with this technique already. Um, and I'm going to try to do it a little faster here so the video won't be too long. But this is a video showcasing sequins from Spiegel Mom's Scrap Shop. I'm one of the sparklers on the design team. And this unicorn does have a little mask over it, and I actually cut this mask out of a glassine bag. Um, they have, uh, Jody has this bags at her shop at Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I love, love glassine bags. You can use them for like party favors. I like to give gifts in them. Um, they're really good for putting, because uh, they're the bigger glassing bags. If you make a set of cards, you can slide it in there and put some pretty ribbons, which she has in the shop as well, over the top of it. So I'm gonna make like my unicorn is running around in the clouds and I cut both sides so I could have, you know, different looking clouds. Um, it's fun to kind of turn it a little bit. I'm just flicking my colored pencil. You could use regular like Crayola colored pencils for this technique. You know, your kids colored pencils from school if you have kids. You could also use markers if you have water-based markers like Tim Holtz. I think this would look really pretty done with markers on watercolor paper. You can do this technique with distress inks. I've seen it, you know, on the YouTubes. I think Jen, Jen McGuire, I think, has done a video making a background like this. Um, I know I've seen it several places. So this is not an original idea to me. This is just something I haven't personally done before. So this is the first time I've done it. And you can kind of move it around too, which is really nice. I played with this for quite a bit earlier. And then um, to kind of soften up, my lines of color. There's a white Prismacolor pencil in this set. So you can kind of, if you got a favorite cloud, like this is my favorite part of this cloud. Um, you can kind of turn it over, use that same cloud over and over again. I could have just cut out like an individual cloud and done this, but I thought it would save me time in the long run to cut it all out at once stamped over and over again. I just have to remember to color on the whole thing because I'll see the blue that's already there and think I've already done that. And I can actually use this mask over and over again. I don't have to use it once and throw it away. I could have cut it out of some different material to make it even more durable, but like I said, I'm not home. This is what I had. I usually cut masks out of post-it notes. I have them in several sizes at my house. But I don't have any post-it notes here. I don't know. I didn't look for any, so please excuse if you hear barking in the background. I'm pet sitting and that's why I'm not at home crafting. But I like to do this, you know, because the dogs don't need my attention a thousand percent of the time. They're just gonna usually just they like to lay down and hang out wherever I am. However, someone is barking, possibly at the postman, and that's okay. Okay, so here is my little background, and like I said, I'm going to soften this color a little bit by rubbing the white pencil over it. It makes it all smoochy. I like it. This is kind of what I do with eyeliner. When I put it on with my finger, I smooge it. And I put that little masky over my unicorn to, you know, protect him. So he'll stay white. I don't know why he's avoiding horns. He is. Um, 
It's funny because I was using that glassine bag to test something, test some products that I bought today. Because I've been looking for um, riders for slick surfaces. And I had asked people's opinion on Facebook, and everybody's like, slick riders, slick riders. I've had some slick riders, and I guess it was just the ones that I had. Um, but I think I actually, I bought two different, well, one package I won at a scrapbook convention. At a CK convention, I got a whole set um, of brown ones, and I, I love them. I actually still have one, or two of them somewhere. Um, but I find that those, I write with them for just a little while, and then they stop writing, like in the middle of my journaling, my pen will quit. And it came in a pack that had, you know, like three or four slightly different sizes. Um, so they're all kind of fine to, not, they don't even go up to medium points. They're all like varying sizes of fine tips. Um, but they just crap out on me before I get finished. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off. Oh, well, that mask did not make it. Leave that. So anyway, I was testing some items out um, today. Put out every color except purple. Um, and I have something exciting I'm going to share, but not in this video. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to be making my unicorn color, multicolored, like this one. So we're just going to quickly scribble on some color with our Prismacolor pencils. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it just like this one because I like this one. I think he turned out super cute. I love rainbows. I love unicorns. I'm such a child of the 80s. Um, to emulate Punky Brewster. I used to drive my mom bananas that I wore different colored socks and that my socks did not perfectly match my outfit. My mom was so funny. She'd buy like 20 pairs of red socks just so she could have the perfect red sock for her outfit. And if it didn't match perfectly, she'd give it to me because she didn't have anything that color and she knew I would just wear it. So I don't know if that happened when you were growing up. But did, aren't these colors pretty? These personal color pencils are really, really pretty. Um, I, I have some Gamasol at home. Um, and I really like how nice and blended they can get. But I will tell you, uh, I don't really enjoy the smell of the Gamasol. It is odorless, but it does still have a smell. So, you yeah, know, it has a little smell. I don't have a pink one, so I do red and then some white over it for right here. Okay, that looks fine. And I did a beautiful blue, I want a purple tail on this one. I'm gonna make it different. I really like this purple. I don't have a pencil sharpener over here, so I'm a little nervous because I've been I've been doing some coloring. I've been enjoying my colored pencils. I have all my Copic markers sitting next to me. But I have been enjoying the colored pencils. I don't have any watercolor colored pencils, and I think I would really like those, but I don't have watercolor, so I don't really need watercolor pencils too. I'm gonna throw my pencils back in the box. I'm gonna drop one just for you know good measure gonna go I probably should have colored in first I'm sorry you guys I didn't mean for this to take so long I wanted it to be a quicker video for you but I also you know I mean I enjoy start to finish videos because I want to know how long something's gonna take me okay so I have a uh, zig two-way is it a zig no it's, yeah zig two-way squeeze and roll this is the size that I like I've had thicker um, but I don't like thicker. I like that fine point. And then I have a Quick Sticks from We Are Memory Keepers. And I think Silhouette has one similar to this now. I just saw it today. Sadly, I don't remember. Um, and now I have sequins. And I'm going to start with the bottom of the rainbow. Oh, man, I just smudged my purple. Okay, so what I'm going to do about smudging my purple is I'm going to erase that, um, but I have to find an eraser. I have one somewhere on the table, so I'll do that before final picture. So these are Orchid 8mm 
eight millimeter honest orchid sequins. I'm gonna kind of shimmy them into place and then I'll glue them down. I want this to be a beautiful sequiny rainbow. So where'd you biff? Blue indigo. Okay. These are royal blue sequins. These are smaller. They're six millimeters. Is that right? I think these are six millimeter because they're slightly smaller and my pink ones are slightly smaller. I love these colors though. As soon as I saw them on the website, I was like, oh, I gotta have this. Okay. This is turning into a nightmare. I shouldn't have shaken. I had to shake them all out so I would look at them, but here's what I'm gonna do because I cannot stand to do that. I went with, yeah, mermaid green. I have several greens here. It's kind of embarrassing how many green sequins I have. I'm doing this again, or I'm gonna mix them all up and be real sorry. It's okay. I'm just gonna spend a lot of time this evening separating sequins. Um, and then I have real red. I have some pink ones, but I don't, I don't really think I'm going to need the pink ones. Let's get the mermaidy ones out of the way. Oh, I love those red sequins. Oh, okay. Do over. Okay, here we go. So, let's just go ahead and start sticking these puppies down. I'm going to put some glue blobs. Okay, so I'm going to put out some glue, just randomly, and then I'm going to start picking up some of my purple sequins and putting them out. And this, my friends, is so easy to use. Look at that. There's like no effort picking these sequins out. I'll just pick them up. Put them out. I have to use this to put them down because I find sometimes they don't like to let go. I'm going to put them right next to each other because I, okay. So you want to do that a little quicker than I just did it if you put out that much glue. So I didn't move quite quick enough. This glue, it's called two-way glue because it starts as a permanent glue and as it dries it becomes a temporary adhesive, which is really cool. That's actually what I was using on the back of my mask. This is two-way glue, and it worked really, really well for that. But as you can see, it kind of dries quickly. It goes transparent. It starts up blue. When it's clear, it's um, it's ready to perform its second duty. That's a duty. Um, yeah, I'm five, so excuse me. I'm just going to put a couple of dots down now. Also, I'm not left-handed, so I don't know why I'm using my left hand. This is really nice. I like um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and I used to use it all the time because uh, I had seen these. The first time I ever saw one of these glue pens, the girl who had it is at a crop. Um, hers must have been almost dry because she, as soon as she put it out, it was dry, which I found very aggravating. I'm like, I could never use that. And she's like, it's not normally like that. But that was all I had to compare it to. And now that I've seen Nicole McGurk use and love hers, so I'm like, oh, well, maybe that was just a bad one. I really should, it's so much easier to use this. I don't know why I keep sticking my hands in there. I have not had this quick sticks very long. Um, but I do really enjoy it. I just, I feel like I don't, I'm not practiced enough with it. So, but it, it is real easy to use. And then I finally saw Christina Warner take hers apart like this. Because it's like, um, it's sticking to the sticky part. So this is a little, feels a little rubbery. It's slightly tacky somehow. I don't really know how because um, it's not like wet wet. I don't, it's really interesting actually. So and this is made by We Are Memory Keepers. They make some fabulous things. I'm kind of glad that name brand is still alive even if it is you know owned by American Crafts now. It seems like they're still making their albums and they make my favorite 
albums of all time. I like their, their leather albums. I really should buy some more albums because the couple that I have are full. And I have some fun We Are Memory Keepers albums, but I really don't like them as much. I got some at a great price, and then I learned, you know, it's a great price because it might not be something you love. And if you already have a brand that you love, it's okay to try new things, but if you don't love them, don't, don't buy multiples. <laughs> Even if they're on sale, that's what gets me, is I'll buy more of one of something if it's on sale, because what if I do love it? Well, what if you don't? Then you've just got two things that you don't really like and want in your life, but you've already bought them, so. It really does work well if you don't like fidget with it and keep moving them like I do. If I just let them alone to dry, they would be fine. Okay. So I'm going to keep going with my sequins. And I am going to go ahead and stop this video. And then I'm going to insert pictures at the end. Because I feel like I will bore you to tears if you have to watch me do all of these. And I'm trying not to make a straight line. So I may chip some of these off. And then uh, you'll see what my card looks like when I come back. Okay, thanks. <laughs>